WGUD Sports presents East Central Hornet Football. Hey, what a beautiful night from Hurley, Mississippi for our second round. Only lost one game in district, and, um, you know, I believe they're going to give us a really good challenge tonight. They are, Kyle. Uh, glad, to be, glad to be here with you tonight, and, uh, and thank you guys for joining us. It is certainly football weather, uh, and, and you can tell folks coming in bundled up. We've got a lot of folks look like still driving in, coming into the, to the parks. If you're watching us out in your car, come on in. We've got about 930 counting down. Um, the wind is really, really blowing out here in the last 15, 20 minutes. Um, so some of you that may not know, Green County does throw the football quite a bit. I, 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 if I'm an East Central coach right now, I, I'm, I'm glad to see that. Um, this is going to be a really good game to watch, uh, to be a part of, and, and excited about being here. Uh, I think they're going to – Green County is going to give us a, a game probably – a uh, game plan we have not seen. They're going to run a lot of similar formations, but they're going to throw the ball. Uh, they, they're about – 50-50 on run pass, so uh, have a really good, really good quarterback, uh, really good middle linebacker, defensive unit they're proud of, so uh, be a, be, it's going to be a really good game tonight to see. So if you hear the wind, if, if, we, if, uh, if we get blue over, then uh, <laughs> we'll just hook it back up and start over. <laughs> The Hornets are wearing maroon tops and gray bottoms. If you're just listening in, um, thanks for watching on Facebook. And uh, we're fixing to get it going here. You know, so, Kyle, it's, it's worth mentioning before we kick off, I got I had an opportunity to sp speak with Coach Crane. Uh, he coached offensive backs when I was at Moss Point. Uh, his son, Brant Crane, played free safety here at East Central, I guess, yeah. in the early 2000s. Brant is actually a uh, wide receiver coach at Greene County. It's his first uh, first position, I think coaching position professionally, I guess. So I uh, know tonight is an exciting night for him. Um, so I just wanted to congratulate him and, and wish him good luck. Yeah, Coach King does a great job. Coach King played at uh, George County, played wide receiver, went to Gulf Coast, <clears throat> went on to play at Troy. <clears throat> he was a couple years younger than me. Really good player. And uh, came back, coached at George County the last few years. Last year was his first year as a head coach at uh, Green County. He's done a great job with them as we're getting set here to kick off. <clears throat> so teeing the ball up for us tonight is number nine, Joshua Cook. He's a senior. And uh, they are kicking with the win. So uh, We'll see what they try to do. Kyle, yeah. they did try onside kick um, last week on Summer I think in the second quarter after. So uh, I wouldn't put it past them. Like I said, they're going to want to try to keep us on our heels. Looked like our uh, our return team was prepared for it. Now we backed out of it. He's about to tee it up. They were almost offsides. Oh, that ball skipped hard. Trenton's got it. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, the plant surface is going to be pretty wet or pretty slick here, even with that turf, because we got a pretty good bit of rain, I guess, late this afternoon. We did. I was down there earlier, uh, sort of while guys were getting loose, and I noticed it, it's, it's pretty slippery. Last week, whenever we started, equipment was misaligned, and we talked about it. 
Um, I can assure you Greene County will be prepared and they won't be. So it uh, looks like we're going to start from the right at the 18-yard line, right at our own 18-yard line. Um, Greene County is going to start out in a four-man front. They got a force walked up to the bottom part of the field. Uh, Will Young with the hard count and uh, back down on the ball. There's a that's a good run right there. Good play, good run. That's a gain of about six there on that play. He did a good job there. He did a very good job blocking there. So second down and uh. Ooh, we got a bad spot, felt like. Second down and about five there. Second down and about five here for the Hornets. Good run there by Dylan. Good block by Caden on the edge. So we're motioning uh, Ryan Evans across the formation. Same play there. They bunched that one up. So what they do, Kyle, 55 Dodger is their guy. He's on the right end over there. And they load this left side up. Um, and they pretty much leave that, that one side, the defense, for him to, <laughs> to shut down. Um, yeah, he's a big old youngin. So we're bringing in uh, Pierce Tullis and Cameron Gray here. It's going to be third and about four. We'll see what coach does here. It's going to be about a yard short. We ran away from uh, Daldrill there. Um, we're going to go for it. Looks like we're going for it early. We we got to get to the 28-yard line, fourth and one. The middle is wide open. I look for a quarterback sneak here. They pulling the – look like they coming up. He almost – Blitz that middle cross. linebacker. I thought he jumped. We're going to call a timeout. Coach Smith wanted to see how disciplined they were. Hey, this is going to be a battle tonight. This is going to be a really good game. Green County came to play, and uh, they've been looking forward to that, to this game for a couple weeks when the, the bracket came out, as we talked about. So it's going to be a good one. So we'll see what we do on fourth and one. Looks like we may bring the punt team on out and punt it. Well, it's sort of like the Alabama thing, Kyle, now with East Central. People are tired of hearing East Central, how good they are. And uh, so when you see you have opportunity to play them, I mean, when you feel like you got a good football team, that's who you want to play. So it's good. East Central is going to have to play their best game. Um, but I will say, looking up and down Green County's schedule, I'm not real sure they have seen the caliber defense East Central has. Uh, Poplarville obviously played them really well. Um, but, it, you know, it's kind of, it's hard to get a judge by watching film. But, right. but I, I, I do know there's not very many uh, defensive units that are going to be as tough as, as this one. They're going to – the, the, the Wildcats will see tonight. Branson's kicking into the wind here. This is going to be a challenge here. we got to get a good snap first. Good snap. There's a kick. That wind that beat it up bad. That, that ball hit the wind. Oh, we got a good bounce. That, that wind <laughs> – wow. So, uh, short kick there with the wind. But uh, one thing about it, the field's going to flip. We'll get two We'll get two quarters going that way, and they'll get two quarters going that way. So, uh, here we go. You got doubles to both sides. Quarterback's in the gun. Quarterback's number 11, Drake Henderson. Oh, my goodness, what a block by six. Great job right there. That's that little uh, that's that little pitch forward on the motion. So he got one yard. Great job running out. Uh, yeah, it was a good block on Avery by number six, uh, Santez Campbell. So number three was your carrier, Peyton Roberts. Look like we got pressure coming here, Kyle. Yep, empty set. Oh, screen. screen. Great play. Oh my gosh, good hit. Nice play by Baldock. Man, way to read that play. Great, great hit right there. Great job by Trenton. Good read there. We brought the house, and they had a good play call. We just made a good play on it on the screen. So it's going to be third and nine. This is going to be a war tonight. This is going to be a good one. 
third and nine. You got trips to the bottom. This is their first uh, formation come, like that. Here we come, come again. again. Quick set, Never incomplete. Through. On this side of the field, you almost expect them to go for it every time. I said Drake Henderson was our was the quarterback. It's actually number 12, Jacob Mitchell. So fourth down, they're going to go for it. They got doubles. They got doubles. Screen. Oh, he, oh, he punted. punted. Get away from it. And Mitchell punted himself. Great job. Uh, it's going to be a touchback. That was a great play call. Great job by the defense there. That You know, going back to that play with Bidoc, Kyle, that is – you can tell uh, Trent spent some time watching film this week yeah. because he read that from jump. Um, was, yeah, was it Trent? Yeah, it was Trent. Yeah. If you block him, they had a play, though. Yeah, he, he was did. the he only guy of, out there. A lot, of, a lot of room to run. You can tell uh, that's what they're going to try to do. They're going to try to screen us. And then they ran the slant there on uh, third down. So first and 10 for the Hornets from the 20-yard line. We need a drive here, 9-10 to go in the first quarter. There's a sneak from Will. Good run. He got about six yards. Yeah, they don't have a nose. So uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure that's not going to be the last time we see that play call. Yeah, they're running a 40 front. So they have four defensive linemen in the game, and then they have four linebackers as well. So it's that old 4-4. Some people call it a split four look. Um, so it'll be second and four here. 8.45 to go in the first quarter. There's the toss to Dillon. That's going to bring up, it's going to be third and about two. Third and a long one. We got to get to the 30 yard line. We need this first down. Number 30, who is Layden Woolard, he's playing well. He's, our, he's their edge defender. So they're trying to guess which way we run the power. And then based on that, yeah, he's their second leading tackler, Kyle, only behind uh, Mitchell, uh, the middle linebacker. Their quarterback sneak, we got I think it. he got across. Yeah, he had to get to the 30, and he got it. That's a good job right there. Hey, great job by our defense on a uh, bad side of the field to be able to get off, get off the field there. Yeah, you could tell Green County had – Felt like they were about to get the momentum and really, really make something happen there in that defense. Like I said, I'm not real sure that they've lined up against many defenses is going to be as stout as those 11 maroon jerseys they're going to see tonight. First and 10 from the 31. Yeah, they're they're just pinning their ears back. They got one safety back. Will ran that one again. He got a short gain, maybe a gain of one. That brings up second down. Uh, second down and nine from the 32, from our own 32. 7.22 to go here in the first quarter. It's going to be tough going <coughs> for both sides. Both teams have good defenses. Oh, 22 filled that gap. Yeah, he uh, made a good cut going all the way back. Jaheim Cooper, he, uh, junior linebacker, he filled that gap. That was a good, a good tackle there. Yeah, Kyle, you can obviously see just after two possessions the, the quality defense that we're seeing tonight is uh, – is, and, and it's to be expected. I mean, we're in the second round of the playoffs. Uh, you expect to see the teams to continue to get better. So third and six here. Big play here with the win the way it is. We ran it back the other way. I wouldn't be shocked here to see Coach go for it here. It's going to be fourth and a long three. We'll see what he does. The wind's kind of died down a little, but I believe once you get up 30, 40 foot in the air, that's what happened to that other ball. Branson kicked it, just died. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna line it up and and, uh, and go and get these four yards right here. So fourth and four, six, eleven here to go in the first quarter. Now I mentioned that's the first time we ran right ran right at 55 and come right back at him again and get, oh. I don't think he got it. Based on the spot, I don't think he got it. I think he's about a half yard short. 
They had to get to the 41, and they're going to they're going to mark him short. Looks like he's about to. And we'll take an official timeout for measurement. 40 and a half. This time I'd like to remind you that this quarter is proudly sponsored. I don't by know. It's close, Kyle. Insurance, the Bradshaw Agency. What matters to you matters to us. And remember, Nation yeah, they ran right at. Side. They ran right at. Uh, Daldrill that time. Actually, the last two plays ran right at him, and uh, and he actually was one that made that tackle. But they're going to get yeah, nice short. A little bit short. And the ball is inches short of the first down. There'll be a turnover. On well, that just shows you how confident Coach Smith is in his defense. Yep, so it'll be first and ten for Green County on the 40, 41-yard line of the Hornets. First and ten to go for Green County from the Hornet 41 yard line. Here we go. Here comes pressure. Underneath handoff. Good tackle by. You got Hornet. about five yards. Good play call there. Had us going with the motion and then gave underneath for about a five, maybe six yard gain. So second and five here, the ball's right on the 35. The nose of the football's on the 35-yard line. Oh, my goodness. Screen. There's a lot of running room over here, Kyle. Oh, good. It's touchdown saving tackle by 24 right there. Yeah. From the three-yard line, it's going to be first and goal. They're going to try to screen us to death tonight with us bringing pressure. Kyle's worth mentioning number 36, Jacob Gibbs, tonight is, uh, is filling in for Joel Riser. I think Joel. It's a different set, little jumbo set here. Oh, ball's oh, on the, the ground. ground. He, he lost a yard. Big play there. We got to try to hold him to a field goal here. So that'd be obvious. With we'll, we'll Riser out, that's obvious. Uh, you miss miss his uh, leadership, if nothing else, in in situations like this. Here we go. Second goal from the four. Quarterbacks under center here. There's the toss wide. Sweet. He got, he got in. in. Touchdown. That's what you talked about, Nick. They tried to. Uh, try, they're going to try to jump on us early, so we're going to have to answer here. The big play was a screen. Right now, Green, we have to match their intensity, Kyle. Yeah. You, can, you can feel the intensity that their players have right now, and uh, our, our kids are going to have to going to have to match that in level of intensity. Yep, they've been talking about it for a couple weeks. And uh, as as we go here, Green County leads seven and up with 4:26 to go in the first quarter. We're gonna take a break. And traffic got you down? Ever feel like friendly service is a thing of the past? At H and H Chevron, our friendly staff is always happy to greet you with a smile and get you going fast. Let us take care of you. Since 1992, fast and friendly customer service, quality and satisfaction have always been our number one priority. The family of Avery White would like to congratulate him on a successful season and wish him the best of luck in the playoffs. Go Hornets! Hello. All right, here we go. So, Green County scores. It's been a while since the Hornets have trailed in a game. So, uh, we'll see how we answer here. I got a feeling we're going to be all right and we're going to answer back uh, the character of our team and the character of our coaches. So, uh, number nine, Joshua Cook back to her kick. Good job right there to catch it out of the air by Zwick. Good return there to about the 27. That's good. Yeah, we, we need to answer here. We need to drive right here. Let's 
So we're going to start on the 20, looks like closer to the 28-yard line. First and 10 for the Hornets. We need to get on this other side to 50 uh, because they their defense has done a good job, which we knew that coming in. They're tough. So here we go. We got Will Young, number five, under center. In the backfield, you got uh, number 42, Caden Redman, number nine, Dylan Grinsteiner. They got him switched. Oh man, one block, one, 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 uh, one little trip yep, he there. Got a trip just a little bit. He got about four there. So good run on first down there. Second and six. First and second down, we've done fine. It's been third down where we hadn't done as well. So second and six as we bring a new backfield in. Pierce Tullis and number three Cameron Gray. In here, second and six. Second and six, three central. And yeah, they just got this side overloaded. I, I'm not real sure. They, they may have more people over here that we can block. Two yards brings up third and four. Big third down here. We don't need to give them the ball back. That's for sure. Third and four here from the 34-yard line of Greene County. Good run by Dylan to get that first down. That was all great him. effort. Great effort. I'm not so sure we don't have better success just running right at 55. Yeah, that's what we did there. That's what we did there. He's a big old young and he is built well too. So first and 10, nose of football on the 40. We're still moving left to right into the wind. First and 10. From the 40. Number 34, Ryan Evans on the reverse. We're all down in the backfield by number 38, Hunter McLeod. They read that well. We ran the reverse with uh, Ryan Evans for a loss of about two on the play. Good read there. Mark for a loss of two, brings up second and 12. Second 12 here as Dylan's come running the play in. You know, if you're Coach Smith, and one thing you want to make sure your offensive unit knows with as many, we've talked about it, as many juniors and underclassmen as you have playing, you don't panic right now. Right. You know, you have you have arguably the best defense in the state. Um, you want to keep doing great play call right there by Coach. You're going to pick up a first down. And a lot more, and a lot more real young. Good great run, run right there. Oh, we got a – they have a face mask here. I'm not real sure. Got a flag now around the 37-yard line. As I was saying, <laughs> you don't want to panic right now. Uh, you want to make sure your young players know that, you know, uh, you're, you you have a, a quality football team and we're going to do what we do and, and do it well. Wow. Continue. Wow. They called a hold, but it's still going to be a first down. Mm. Boy, you don't see that, that a lot way down the field. Yeah, I don't know. But we still got a first down, so uh, the sticks will move. Uh, good run by Will. Good job by Coach Smith on that call. I mean, it. So from the 46 yard line, first and 10. First and 10 to go from the wild. 46-yard line. Quarterback sneak from Will. Will Young keep up the middle. Stop by a wall of defenders led by number 41, Drake Wally, and number 42, Noah Mitchell. Gain of two brings up second and eight. Second and eight for the Hornets here. Coming up on one minute and 15 seconds left. We had good uh, – we moved the pile We there. sure did. That's that's one of the most the, – the, the, um, the best jobs we did of getting penetration into that 
in that defensive backfield, uh, at least into that linebacking core. So third and five here. Third and five here from the 41-yard line of Greene County. 30 sec 35 seconds left here in the first quarter. That's your play, Kyle. You run right at 55 because yep. they got us just they, – they're putting so much pressure on him to shut that side down. I don't care who you are. If you got two big old boys pushing on you, it, it, our tackle, uh, never, number 75, he, he's not a little fella. <laughs> so, exactly. Uh, I, I think that's your play there. I tell you the other advantage to the other side, they got a defensive end and they have 30 as the force there. And they're counting on 55 making the play by himself. So I agree with you running at him. We just don't, we just double teaming him. So we're going to go to a break here at the end of the first quarter. Hornets are driving, trailing seven to nothing. This is Barry Cumbus with the Jackson County Board of Supervisors. We want to encourage everyone to continue supporting our great team here at East Central and wish our Hornets good luck in this 2018 football season. Go Hornets! Foster Heating and Air, our comfort consultants have extensive training in HVAC systems. For us, success means finding the best solution for your project and budget. Our dedicated team at Foster's has more than 90 years of combined experience. We are here to serve you. We will listen with understanding and compassion, and we guarantee that you'll be taken care of. We count on our teams every day, and so can you. This is Foster's, home of the old reliable. We are Foster's. So here we go at the start of the second quarter. Cool night here in Hurley, Mississippi. 20, we're at the 29 yard line, it's gonna be first and 10. We got a good drive going here. Every drive, Nick's gonna be very important tonight. Short gain there, maybe a gain of two. We had a play there on the lead. It looked like uh, they had one guy make a play. That brings up second down. So it's going to be second and seven. Yeah, that, and that was a little different wrinkle there. Uh, we hit more to the zero hole rather than the six hole, which is over tackle. We kind of ran that and right over to center. There's back to that power pitch. There. And he still picked up four or five yep. yards there. That's It's going to be second. It's going to be third six. and a long two. It's going to be third and a long two from the, from the 21 yard line. We just moved the pile there. So third and a short two and a long one. Big play here. Right at 11 minutes to go here in the second quarter. Green County had a big play on the screen and then ran it in to lead seven to nothing. Third and two here. He's going to be close. He's going to be really close. I think he may have got it. Down around the 20-yard line. We'll see if he has enough for a first down. First down. First down. Surprised they didn't measure that one. Yeah, I kind of thought they would. Yeah, I kind of thought we were going to measure it. If I'm, uh, if I'm Coach King, I'm, uh, I'm probably talking to that official over there. First and ten. Balls right on the 20, right inside the 20 for the Hornets. Every yard is tough. We had a play there, and number 30 blew us up in the backfield. Yeah, he's a ball player for them, Kyle. Uh, I, I think they got him in at five foot seven, and to get a, at be five foot seven and have 120 some tackles, <laughs> yeah. that's pretty remarkable. Short gain there. So second and eight. Ball's right on the 18-yard line. 9.54 to go here in the second quarter. Hornets are driving, trying to tie it up. Good run by Will. Blow the whistle. There you go. Down to the 14-yard line. That's going to bring up. we got to get to the 10, so it's going to be third and four. Big play right here coming up. Yeah, you want to see your line come off. Uh, come off here and, and get that 
get that push like we saw on that uh, on the on the play right there before half. Um, how did how, surprisingly our best our best plays have been right at 55 right when we double team end. him and try to kick him out. And I look for us to to run right at him right here now. Got to have a play here. Third and four. Oh, Ooh, he had a seam. Man. Oh my God. I thought he was going to hit that I seam. It was and touchdown. Yeah, I did too. It, it, it was just to his right, and uh, he could have probably walked in. But he picked us up. He picked us up a first down. So we'll take that too. So f it's going to be first and goal from the eight. We got to punch this one in. 849 to go here in the first half. You know what's happening right here too, Kyle. Uh, irregardless of what happens tonight, you, these kids right here are growing up. This is a big boy football game right here. And Same are, play. Oh, man. They're playing their guts out right now. Um, we see something out of that lead. Yeah. You're right, Nick. We see something out of that lead. They're overplaying. That's what. That's our adjustment. Usually when they're overplaying the power, um, we can run the lead. And uh, that was open. Both times there, if Cam could have kept his feet, he would have, he was really close to scoring. So second and goal from the five. I wouldn't mind the lead keep here, see if Will can run it in. He's down to about the two. We got a flag. I think we moved. Yeah, I think he's gonna get a false start or a legal shift. I couldn't tell what he did. That's a big penalty there. So it's gonna be second and goal from the 10 now. Yeah, we're certainly not in a position to be giving up yards. Clock running 7.52. Boy, this half has flown with us running the football. 7.45 to go here in the first quarter. Oh, he's got a pass call. Yeah, and our receiver failed. Oh. Both of our receivers fell down. He had, he had, uh, that's Rouse. Rouse open Rouse. just for a second, which was the second option. And surprisingly, that's probably the best anybody's played that play all year. Uh, they had pretty good coverage on, on uh, I guess that was on Wade. It's going to be third and goal from the 10. Be interesting to see what Coach Smith does here if we don't get this third down. I'd look for the lead keep here. Nothing. So we're going to bring the field goal unit on here. Big time field goal here. Big time field goal attempt right here to make, try to make it seven to three. They got the wind of the back. The ball's going to be placed on the, the ball is set on the nine. It's going to be kicked from the 16. So it's going to be a 26, 26 yarder. Snaps good, kicks up. Like Kicks good. There. That's huge right there. Good kick there. So 26-yard field goal to make it 7-3. to three. We're going to go to a break right here before we come back. Hornet. Hornet football on WGUD is made possible by All Access Towing and Recovery. At All Access Towing and Recovery, we do towing and roadside of all kinds. All access towing and recovery, open 24-7 for your convenience. From all of us at All Access Towing, go, go Hornets. Hornets! All access towing and recovery, with two locations to serve you. Confidence builder there for your offense, great job. We need Branson to kick this one out of the end zone with the wind blowing hard at his back. So that's going to make it 7-3 to three here. 6.53, this is a big possession, Nick, because Green County deferred, and they'll get the ball after the half. First time in Hurley, Mississippi, I've ever seen the ball blow over <laughs> as a win. You know, it's kicking when that happens. Yeah, it, it is. Uh, 
you can't see it on the on the screen here, but that flag is is getting it. <laughs> so 6:53 to go. Brantz is coming up to the ball. I'm gonna kick it. Get up. Good job. That's at the back of the end zone. So we'll start at the 20 here. And the Wildcats take over their own 20 yard line. This time we'd like to recognize the freshman members of the East. We gotta watch for screens and draws here. Well they get us coming up field. Well as a, as a defense coordinator, you know you gotta you gotta you're trying to decide do you wanna bring pressure? When you bring pressure, then it makes your back end of your defense a little more vulnerable. Um and, and you're vulnerable to screens like you're talking about slant passes. So it looks like we're gonna play back in man coverage. Number six, Sanchez Fell forward for a couple more yards there. That's a lot of that, that's a lot of yards for, for a first down there. So. I did, I did rise or checking coming out there, Kyle. So he is dressed tonight. He got shook up yeah, there. He's trying to up. go. He's trying to go. Second and five here. Santa it's going to be a first down there. Hey, Green County is a good football team. This one's going to be a four-quarter game. We've got to make sure that uh, we get a stop right here. We don't want them to get points and then get the ball after half. So first and 10 from the 32. It's going to be a screen. screen. Make the tackle, Great Bryce. play right there. Yeah. Great that play right there, Zach, Zach Jones. Jones. Good job. Great job. You know, I mean, they really gonna have a hard time throwing the ball. So almost when you see him going back, you, yeah. you almost immediately think screen. Um, I, I'm not real sure Brady could throw against this win right now. Ooh, it's or, or tough. Far. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. Oh, we jump, man. So it goes from second and 15 back to second and 10. We gotta do a better job there. Just anxious. I want to make a play. So it's going to be second and 10, 5.37 to go here in the half. Well, and like I talked about earlier, you got to keep your composure. You, we hadn't, like you said, we ain't been down much this year. Um, I guess going all the way back to that third game of the season. So uh, make the tackle. Mm, he's short. He almost fumbled. That would have been a huge play there. Big third down here. We got to watch the football. It's going to be third and two. They got to get to the 42 yard line. They've ran the ball better because they got us on our heels a little bit. We'll see what they do here. We got to watch the ball. Quarter, uh, coach is audible. And he may call timeout here. Four, three. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's going to have to call a timeout. He knows this is a big play right here to give us the ball back. With four. Well, they're punting into the wind too, Kyle. So yeah. just like what happened with Branson, there's no no way you're punting into that. You're right, Kyle. This is so far. This may be the the play of the game coming up right here. Um, big play here. It's hard to throw it, like you're saying, but uh, they're having success running the football. So we got to make sure that we take care of our assignments here. And tackling. Um, we had it even when they threw that little hook pass. He didn't throw it, but about six yeah. yards, and he still picked up four or five yards there after the after the catch. So here we go, third and two. You got to feel like if we can stop them here, it'll be a tough decision for Coach King because uh, he won't want to give us the ball here on the 40 with four minutes to go. But also punting into the wind will be a tough Kyle, decision. I, I'd be, I'd, I'm looking for a cross pattern on this. This When they run this package, these two outside receivers kind of run a rub, and he wants to throw it to that seam route. We don't have any, any help in the middle, so it's going to be open. Looks uh, like we're in man coverage, we're too. We're bringing, bringing pressure. Sneak. Quarterback sneak. And he got it. 
And quarterback number 12, Jacob Mitchell, powers up the middle for a gain of five. And the Wildcats have another first down. So that's going to move it up to the 44-yard 40, line. It's going to be first and 10. Back in the gun here, you got trips to the tops, top of the field. That underneath draw, Zach was there. Big play, short game. Big maybe play. two, maybe two. Good job there, he had a little room to run. So second and eight from the from the 46 yard line, still on their side of the field. Gonna be a pass here, short pass or a screen. I could plant it back. There it is. There's underneath, good. Oh, we missed the tackle. He got stuck, short game, maybe two. Gonna bring up another big third down play. Coach, Coach King's done a really good job at this point play calling. I mean, he's he's kind of he's mixing it up like we talked about. He's he's thrown in enough passes to keep us keep us back, like you're talking about to 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 make that draw that he's been running look look like it it may be a pass. So, but here in the empty set, uh, yep. I wouldn't imagine we'd see another quarterback sneak here. Quarterback, there's that underneath slip route. Great play right there by Zwick. Oh, he got a good spot too. I hope they spot it on this guy at the bottom. We got to get set on the ball. They're going for it. It's going to be fourth and three. Fourth and a long three as they decide here. You we got to make sure we get set and we got to make sure we watch the football. They may run the clock down and call timeout. Yeah, he's trying to draw us off. Got 10 seconds on the play clock. He may run a play here. Nah, he's going. He's going to call I don't call think he's going to be able to get it off. Yeah, he's going. He's trying to burn, run, run game clock. He's going to call time and punt, which is a good decision because uh, you can't take them down. We got to get the clock stopped. Bro. We're going to go to a break here, right quick, before the half. Before you pull out your jacket, remember to pull into A1 Auto Parts and repair in Pascagoula and let us winterize your vehicle. A1 Auto Parts has been serving the folks of Jackson County for years with a great reputation for customer service. Check out their wide variety of detailing products, including blue dressing for tires and acid for wheels. Mention this ad and get 10% off on all cleaning and detailing supplies. A1 Auto Parts and Repair, family owned and operated for over 34 years. 3019 Chico Street in Pascagoula. Call 769. 7181 or 762-7103. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they're going to punt it away. So it looks like they're gonna punt it away, punt it into the wind. We don't have anybody back. We gotta make sure for a fake. Well, it's worth noting their punter is their quarterback. Oh, Look man. Look at that ball just and die. <laughs> it did. It did. On a normal night, that ball would have been down inside the five. Easy. But Easy. instead, it's going to be on the 27-yard line. That's amazing, and that's a big stop by our defense. So I think we got two timeouts left. Yeah, we got two timeouts left here, 218 to go. We need to get a little rhythm here on offense. First and 10 from the 27, from our own 27. We got Will at quarterback, we got Caden at fullback, and Dylan at tailback, and we gotta hurry up. Play clock's down to six seconds, five seconds. First and 10, Central from our own 27 yards. Here's a reverse. And Ryan Evans takes the reverse. Good run there. Up that's to the 35. That's the first time in a few games we've got Woo. positive yardage on that play. About an eight-yard gain there. Tackle number 22, Cooper. So right at two minutes to go here. Good run there by Bull. Second and two. We need to get a first down and get chains moving. Looks like they've adjusted there. 
That's going to be a first down. Looks like they adjusted to what we were talking about, Nick. They got 55 to one side, and they got another guy outside of him. Okay, yeah. That's probably why we started running the lead more and having success with it. So, minute 35 to go here from the 39-yard line. Yeah, nobody's in the middle. There you go. Good run there. Good job. Big Matthew Greeno plowing people over there. With a pancake. There. I saw that. Gain of five there. They got to play one or the other. Right now they're trying to play the power, and that's giving us the lead. Um, we ran right, that one right up uh, Matthew Greeno's uh, right behind, right booty cheek. So one minute to go here. Same play. Oh, we put the, oh, I thought we put it came. on the ground. It was somebody's shoe. <laughs> I thought we put it on the ground. Inside a minute here, 46-yard line. I believe that lead keep would be open if Will kept it. So the good news is we'll get to choose which way we kick after the half, so we'll be able to have it in the fourth quarter just like this. And Cameron Gray takes the pitch. He got a Green good County's spot. probably going to use the last time out here to make us do something. He got yeah. a first down. He got it. Did he pick it up? Okay. I thought we were a little short. And that's another Bishop of Insurance. First down. With just under 18 seconds left to play in the first half. So you got about two plays here, Kyle. Yeah. Be, ain't, be curious to see if we don't try to get in field goal range. The clock's going to start to do something. Uh, even if you throw interception here, it'd be like a punt. Uh, we moved. And flags prior to the snap. Well, I tell you, it's going to get real nasty real quick if this <laughs> if this rain picks up. It's just started drizzling here. On the start, on the offense, five yard penalty, replay, first down. After the penalty, it's first and 15 for the Hornets. So we've got six, six seconds, seconds on the play, play clock. The first half. Probably be the last play of the half. They're not going to do it. That's going to end the half. Keeps up the middle. Tough, tough and first the half the there. First half to score up two quarters of play. Green County seven, East Central three. So we're going to go to a break here real quick. Sassy's Restaurant and Catering located in Hurley. At Sassy's, you'll find a wide variety of some of the best home cooking to choose from. Host your next party or let us bring it to you. Sassy's offers catering for any special event. Check out our Facebook page for more information. Sassy's Restaurant and Catering in Hurley. Call 588-0800. Can't make it to the game? Don't worry. Come watch it while you eat. It's Sassy's. Go Hornets! From all the crew at Sassy's Restaurant and Catering. At Cronier, we're the MVP when it comes to your AC. Cronier Air Conditioning has been serving the coast since 1958. At Cronier Air Conditioning, we take pride in servicing our customers and keeping them comfortable all year long. In honor of our 60 years of service, we're offering a $60 service call till the end of the year for all new and existing customers. So give us a call today and let our winning team go to work for you. Cronier Air Conditioning, 228-475-7845. If you or a loved one are thinking about applying for Social Security Disability, there's a few questions you need to ask before you rush off and hire an attorney. One, will your case be handled by an attorney located in South Mississippi where you live? And two, will an attorney or a representative be handling your case? And three, and most importantly, will an attorney meet with you before the day of the hearing? Better yet, just give me a call at the Turner Law Group at 601-394-5008 or visit us online at www.msdisabilitylawyer.com. Hey, as we go to halftime, hard fault first half, uh, going about like we expected it to. Green County is a good football team with a very good defense. We got a little rhythm going there toward the end of the second quarter, and that was good. We got to continue that in the second half. Um, I think Green County only had three possessions there. We may have three because the clock was rolling with us running the football, but uh, this is going to be a dog fight, and the second half is going to go down to the last play. 
it's been everything we, we anticipated, I think. Uh, Grand County came to play. They've got a good football team. They're tired of hearing about East Central, and, and you can you can feel it. I mean, they're, they're ready to play, but uh, we're ready to play too. Um, we're, we're prepared. Uh, I feel like we've played well defensively the first half. Again, they, they've got some wrinkles offensively we have not seen other teams uh, sort of bring to us. They, they've got a lot of skilled guys. They've got some big guys up front, uh, especially defensively. They're, they're, they're the most uh, physical uh, defense we've played so far this year, uh, probably only matched by East Central's defense. So um, it's been a real good first half. Uh, so so if you hadn't if you hadn't been around the first half, stay tuned for the second half because it's going to get it's going to get good here in the last uh, 24 minutes of play. So uh, the Hornets trail seven to three here at halftime, and we'll come back out. Green County will get the football, and uh, we appreciate you watching watching us uh, on WGUD. And uh, we'll see you back here in just a few minutes. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another Empress Audio Halftime Show. As you can hear, the phones are ringing. They're staying busy up here. But right now, we got Omar. How you doing, man? All right, and Mr. Floyd, of course. All right, Mr. Floyd, I'm going to hand it off right to you because I'm curious as to what you got going on right here. Okay, as most everybody knows, we do a lot of window tinting. Well, what a lot of people don't know is we sell ceramic tent. I didn't know what that was, so I had Omar tent the two front windows on my truck, and after he did it with our lifetime warranty premium tent, he said, you should have put ceramic on there. And I said, why? He said, because it's cooler. I said, I'm not paying extra for that. He said, well, go in there and test the display, which I'm going to let you test it. Okay. Okay, so show him how that works, Omar. All right, this right here, this is going to be a clear glass. Okay. Put your hand in front of that. It's hot. All right. This is regular tint right here. That's the premium tint. That's with tint now. Right. It's, but it's still darker, but it's still hot. Right. This one is going to be ceramic tint. But clear, right? Clear ceramic. Yes. So really no tint at all. I can't all. feel any heat. Exactly. Oh. It's unbelievable. So I don't know why he didn't tell me about that first. So he had to go back and redo my truck. <laughs> so my truck's not only cool, it's cool. You know, I mean, it's interesting. <laughs> Anyway, right. let, but, I, let me just, re, I want to reiterate real quick. I know you can't really tell through the camera, but there was a significant amount of heat there, both on the tinted one and the other one. And as soon as I put it, my hand on this one right here, I couldn't feel anything. Oh. So that is, especially down here in the South, that's, that's almost a necessity. Absolutely. It, it really works. I'm, I mean, you, you can, now you can tell it. In other right. words, we've got some here you can feel. There is a difference. You know, it keeps your car cool. I mean, my truck is 15 degrees cooler when I get in it now just from going to ceramic tent. All right. All right, what's going on over here, Miss Floyd? Well, uh, I thought you guys were tinting windows. <laughs> what happened to the window tinting? So it seems like every time they got to take a break, they come out here and listen to the jams on the, on the ATVs. This is a wet sound system here. Crank it up a little bit, Omar. Let's see how it sounds. All right, Mr. Floyd, and more of the same over here or what? Yes, sir. That little uh, Polaris, by the way, came from Perkins Tires across the street, okay. and we fixed it up a little bit. A uh, good place to buy your machine. This is a little Honda we have, and uh, Dane's here, and Ariana, and y'all are supposed to be working too. What are y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> Just chilling. I got you. So we're doing a lot of ATVs. Now, these are pretty expensive systems, but we... audio window tinting backup cameras audio whatever it is it has to do with car audio or alarms or anything uh, come holler at mr floyd if you go to our facebook page we just did a 22 foot blackjack you know you think boating seasons is over it's not speckled trout are starting to be caught people have a lot of bay boats we just did a really nice 22 blackjack so don't forget us on boats either okay all right and uh mr floyd uh, before we go, you are a sponsor of football, so 
Is there anything you want to say to the local teams or any shout outs? Absolutely. Congratulations to each Central. They're in the playoffs. Two of my grandkids go there, so go Hornets. Uh, proud of them. I hope they continue to go all the way to the to the top, uh, also St. Martin and the other schools. We support all the local high schools and uh, great sport and glad to be a part of this and thank you for asking us. Yep, we're glad to have them too. It's people like Empress Audio that make this broadcast possible. So for Mr. Floyd, I'm Hunter Bickham. We'll see y'all next time. Okay team, you guys ready to play? Yes. Who has the best audio on the coast? Empress. Give me some brands. JL. JL. Hertz. Hertz. Alpine. What's another one? Rockford. Rockford. Kenwood. Kenwood. Exelon. Pioneer. Pick the winning team at Empress Audio with two locations to serve you, Gulfport and Pascagoula. Who are we? Empress. Who are we? Empress. Who are we? Empress. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hello, this is Manley Barton. I just want to congratulate the Hornets on a successful season. They've had a great year, and we just want to wish them a lot of luck as they go into the playoffs. Go Hornets! Tonight's playoff game is made possible by Dom Key Market. At Dom Key Market, enjoy wine, gourmet products, gifts and gift baskets, and culinary events. Dom Key Market is located at 720 Schillinger Road in Mobile, Alabama. For more information, call 251-287-1851 or visit them online at domkeymarket.com. Owners Brooke and Scott Golf from Hurley would like to wish the East Central Hornets the best of luck. Go, Go Hornets! Hornets. Hey, I'm Lee Turner, the host of After Hour Cinema. Be sure to join us every Friday at 1030, where I'll be sitting right here bringing you the very best in B-movies. Tired of looking from store to store for furniture that matches the rest of your decor just to settle for something close? At Willis Furniture, along with the fine quality of their furniture, you can choose to have it custom made in a choice of many different fabrics or leather. Willis offers quality furniture to fit anyone's budget, along with 12 months same as cash and free local deliveries. Stop by Willis Furniture today and bring home the furniture that matches you. Willis Furniture, where quality is still affordable. Hello local sports fans, I'm Tim Wall. And I'm Hunter Bickham with WGUD Television. Now we're usually the guys behind the camera, but today we want to sit in front of you because we personally want to say thank you to all the businesses who made East Central High School football a great success on WGUD. That's right, Tim. Without these businesses, we would not be able to bring you these live football games. So in no particular order, we're going to show you a list of those sponsors. And once again, thank you very much. Yeah, roll that beautiful bean footage. What a great list of sponsors there. It's because of those businesses that we were able to bring you live coverage of East Central High School football this year on WGUD. Yeah, Tim, that's right. The community really got behind this, and I'd like to encourage everyone watching to shop at these businesses, shop local. And once again, thank you so much. Now, let's enjoy the game.
Let's hear it one more time for the East Central Hornet Marching Band. Tonight's game is brought to you by Going Green Foam Insulation. Going Green Foam Insulation is your local hometown business for all your spray foam insulation needs. The friendly folks at Going Green Foam Insulation would like to wish the East Central Hornets the best of luck in the playoffs. Call your former East Central Hornet, Rob Roberts, at 228-218-3404 for a free estimate. Go Hornets from Going Green Foam Insulation. Tanya Hasbrook began her career as a registered nurse and then became an attorney. After graduating from Ole Miss Law School, she began representing the people of Jackson, George, and Greene Counties and has for the past 28 years. Twelve of those years has been an assistant district attorney fighting for the safety of our children and communities. Only Tanya Hasbrook has the diverse and extensive experience needed to be your next Chancery Court judge for C2. Tanya Hasbrook, the name to remember. I'm Tanya Hasbrook and I approve this message. Hi friends, I am Mark Maples. Nancy Joe and I want to thank you for the vote given to us in our campaign on Tuesday. I look forward to the opportunity to serve you as your next Chantry Court judge. Thank you and good luck to both teams tonight. Then traffic got you down? Ever feel like friendly service is a thing of the past? At H&H &H Chevron, our friendly staff is always happy to greet you with a smile and get you going fast. Let us take care of you. Since 1992, fast and friendly customer service, quality, and satisfaction have always been our number one priority. The family of Avery White would like to congratulate him on a successful season and wish him the best of luck in the playoffs. Go Hornets! Hello, this is Barry Cumbus with the Jackson County Board of Supervisors. We want to encourage everyone to continue supporting our great team here at East Central and wish our Hornets good luck in this 2018 football season. Go, Go Hornets! Hornets. the beginning Green County came to play anytime you play in the postseason you know it's gonna be a fight and uh, I look for our guys to answer here we got to be able to answer on that first possession when they get to football and yeah they're 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 a motivated football team uh, that first half all it did is prove to them that they belong here they're supposed to be here our guys have to come out in the second half uh, with that intensity that they brought in the first half. We kind of got back on our heels, I feel like. Offensively, we got to punch them in the mouth. Yeah. Um, we, we, we're not, we're not, uh, we just, we don't, we have not matched their intensity and, and you can just feel it, you can feel it. Um, when they have the football, we kind of hold our breath and hoping up here we are, and I'm sure you are at home, we're holding our breath that we're not going to give up a big play. As of right now, we don't do that to them. So we have to bring that bring that intensity to them to where they're back on their heels. Uh, we're at home. We're twelve. We're ten and zero football team. We have a very good football team. I'm sure that's the message we're getting. They've just received in the locker room. Uh, Coach Smith is a high energy guy. I'm sure he's got them believing they can run through a brick wall right now. So Absolutely. I think we'll we'll see an inspired football team in the second half. Yeah, we're a proud bunch, and uh, they've worked hard to get to where they are. We've worked really hard, and. Uh, you know, coming out here, we've got about a minute and a half left before the second half kick. Um, but we're going to come out, we're going to play really hard and see what happens. You know, it, it's hard when you go from hunting to being the hunted, and that's what happened last year. We kind of uh, flew under the radar a little, a little bit and then um, had a super year. And uh, this year has been a little different. Everybody gives us their best shot. And uh, so the second half here, we're going to see what happens. And we're going to get after them, I guarantee you. So we will be kicking off to them. Seven to three, if you're just joining us. Green County had uh, one good possession there where they had a big screen play. And then they ran it in for touchdown. Screens are what they're trying to do with our pressure. And uh, that's what 
Coach King has drawn up, and he's done a good job. But uh, I look for our defense to make an adjustment here uh, in the second half. So here come the Hornets. Yeah, you're really looking for our defense, Kyle, to, to continue to, to, to play at a high level, but we have to continue to execute. They had a couple missed blocks, or excuse me, missed tackles, uh, and, and really it was a missed tackle, as I recall, that broke that long screen to set up the touchdown there early in the first quarter. So, you know, you got to be intent. You got to be intense, but you gotta you gotta remain uh, uh, in control and 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 remember fundamental football. You know, you got to wrap up. You got to make sure the guy got to bring the guy to the ground. So, uh, yeah. Also, very we ha we had it there on the two, and we got a penalty. It would have been a lot easier to punch it in there from the two. I yeah, like our right. chances. That's right. And we went back to further about the seven or eight yard line, and then we had to kick a field goal. So we're going to be kicking with the wind here in the third quarter. Here we go. Yeah, we, kicked, he, we, had, we did have one kick there in the first half where we were kicking uh, at, with the wind in our back, and it was a touchback. You know, so we, we, we anticipate that's what will happen here. So this is what you want if you're a player. You have a chance to take the lead and win the game and advance, and the loser goes home. That's what you play the game for. So Branson's approaching the ball. That one. It's going to be a touchback. You got, you got a flag. That's not how you want to start the half. Nope. So Branson's going to tee it up again. Instead of from the 40, he's going to kick it from the 35. With the wind blowing, he gets a good boot. He should be he's fine. Still, yeah, even the one before, I think he, he almost kicked it out of the back of the end zone. It, it, it was about eight yards deep uh, in the back of the end zone. So he, he has the leg still to get a, get a touch back here. So he's going to tee it up. This time nobody's holding it. And we will start uh, the second half here after the whistle uh, puts it in play. Approaching the ball and the kick. He did That's it again. a good kick. Man. Great job, dude. Woo. Whoever that was offside a minute ago ought to go hug his neck. Yeah. <laughs> Good kick there. So, Green County will start from the 20. Had some success with the screen game. Surprisingly, had us a little bit on our, on our heels, like you talked about, Nick, and had some success running the football. It's a different set. Quads to the left. It's a bigger shooter to the right. So. Pick oh, it's at the pick right. Oh, he dropped the it. ball. Get the oh. ball. Oh, man, what a read. What a play by Zwick. He read that from jump. Oh, man. That is a huge play if you pick that ball off right there. Man, he had it. That guy must have got his arm in. Good job by Zwick there. We're watching the replay. Oh, he got it. He got his hand in there. Yeah, they were debating there on calling that a, a fumble. catch and a fumble. But well, that's going to move it back to the 20. It's going to be second and 10 for Greene County. See Coach King over there lobbying for a call with the side judge. Different set here. We've got trips to the bottom of the set, two receivers to the top, and we're man coverage. We're in zero coverage. Empty set. It's going to be a screen, I believe. Deep ball. Pick this interception. Oh, he's going to call pass interference. I don't know if I agree with that. I don't know about that. There was some contact, but I'm not. Uh, I think what got him is he had his jersey. He had his jersey from behind, which he didn't really need to. The ball is so far under thrown. I just don't know about that. It's, I mean, obviously it happened. He threw that flag. It's going gonna, it's gonna to stand, but, oh, man. So back-to-back -back plays, almost two interceptions. I don't know if they're calling holding or pass interference. Let's 
see what they're the backing call up is. like us. Okay. So that's going to be first down at the 30. So two big plays there, two momentum plays by your defense. I think we may see the end of the passing game for Green County. I'll be surprised if Coach King dials up another pass play here after those two, two yeah, throws. Yeah, he had a step on Branson, but the ball was so far under thrown, he didn't need to hold him. The, run, the receiver would have – Oh, oh that's, that's motion. Good. You can't do that. I'm not real sure why we didn't get a legal procedure there. That had two people in motion. You can't do that. To steal your uh, wording, this isn't the CFL. <clears throat> yeah, it's not the CFL. So trips to the top, one back in the backfield. Quarterback's trying to rush. There's the give again. He's got a hole. Mm. He's going to pick up the first down. Well, it looked like it's going to be a hole. And I wondered, I saw a lot of. Somebody was running, he just all of a sudden stopped in his tracks. I didn't know if he got hit or got held. It looked like uh, yeah, we're going to accept Higginbottom got held on that play. Not sure why we declined that one, White Hat. We're going to accept that one. We're not going to give him a first down. Come on now. So it's going to be second, about second and 14. From the spot, so second and 11. Man, this number 11 receiver on this bottom side of the screen is is uh, every second bit of six three. Yeah, he's big. He, we don't have his size, but man, he's a big kid. Empty set. We got pressure. Screen, screen. screen. Oh, he's open too. Oh, oh he missed the tackle. tackle. He's gone. Avery, Avery with the tackle there. We got to make that tackle. We missed the tackle. We had we had guys in position to make a play, and we just couldn't bring him to the turf. That's going to move them up to the 46, and they're going to run up to the football. Good tackle by Avery to run down the field. Trips to the bottom. There's the give. Not much there. He started about seven yards deep. He may have got a yard. Different set there instead of the back to the side of the quarterback. The back was behind the quarterback. I feel a I feel a deep ball coming to 11, Kyle. I, I got a – I don't know if he's waiting on maybe the wind to die down. We are having periods where the wind dies. I, maybe the slant I just get a feeling. Yeah, slant. he keeps he keeps um, hitting us for these little tic-tac plays. I got a feeling he's going he's gonna to try us deep. So 9.52 to go here, second and eight. Oh, that was almost picked too. Dorch missed it. It was incomplete and it hit Trenton. Tough play for Trenton to make it. It's going to be third and eight here, third and long. Big play here. So you wonder here, Coach Hudson, does he dial up the blitz and bring the linebackers? You gotta feel like they're gonna, they're gonna, we're gonna see a screen or a, yeah. uh, a, a, a slant or something quick. I think we need to show, show pressure and bail. So we got an empty set. Here we're bringing pressure. Do it behind him. Great play. So it's going to be no, four. No flags. Decision for them. They may do the little pooch with the quarterback at a shotgun in there. That's a big stop there. You know, I tell you, Kyle, I think if you don't bring pressure right there, he completes that pass because he rushed he the ball time, behind him. Yeah. If he punts this one, I wish he had hit it in the back of somebody because <laughs> he is close. I'd be surprised they go for it here. Yeah, may try to draw us off and then go for it. Nine seconds on the play clock. There's a punt. Oh, he almost hit somebody. Get the end zone ball. Man, what a punt. Good punt there. You know, we talked earlier in the year, Kyle, about how important special teams is, and that's an example of it right there. He just 
that's their punter and quarterback. And 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 being that uh, talented, I guess, to be able to to call that play. Now we're going to start, and if we score. It's going to take a 96 to 97 yard drive to make it happen. 9.31 to go here in the third quarter. This is what they call a slobber knocker here. This is the one in this cold weather where uh, both teams are just getting after it and playing hard. So here we go, first and 10 from the four for the Hornets. Not much there, maybe no, no gain. Again, a yard or two, and that brings up second down. They just got everybody there between tackle to tackle. It's interesting. Um, 55's not in the game here, unless they got him. They got him down playing tackle now instead of in. Second and nine here from the five-yard line. We got to get a couple first downs at least here. Give ourselves a chance on a punt. Better run there. Got to about the 14. Going to be third and long here for the Hornets. Third and about six. Big play here. Big play here. Flipping the field was huge for them. If they get a punt here, you got to think they're going to get it on the other side of the 50. 8.22 to go here in the third quarter. So Pizzer Grinsteiner, they, they snuffed it out. That was a great play he by Mitchell, run, 42. He, but he's about three yards short. Down the line. He'll be short of the that was Drake Wally on the tackle. Number 41, that was a good tackle. He, he had a little seam there, but they, they closed it up really quick. Um, Hopefully Branson can get a good punt off here with the win. So we're going to be punting from the 12. He's going to be a step or two in the end zone. You know, that's that's really not how you want to start the half. Clock, but, I mean, that's not all all that bad considering we were on our own four-yard line and uh, we're playing a game field position right now. You hope for Go a good ball. punt. Go ball. Go ball. There we go. That's what we Go need. ball. Oh, my goodness, we need Go that. ball. That's a 70-yard. Yes, sir. About a 70-yard punt right there. That was a big play. Huge. Branson Davis he just missed, uh, the the return guy misjudged where the ball was. So that started that was from the 12. Wow, from the 12 to the 17. So that's a 61 yard. No, 71 yard. Yeah, that that was. If my math's right there. Now you now you're gonna you're gonna lean on your 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 steadfast your your. Uh, your main crew here in your defense to, to get you a three and out. And um, I think that's something that the offense would be able to, to build on. Look for them to come out and run it here, and they do. Big Good play right there, there by Eubanks. Eubanks Give got a hand on him play. in the backfield early, and, and the rest of them, the Hornets came and, uh, and brought him down. That was a good play. Good job by uh, Gibbs and by Bryce. So second and nine here from the 17. Second and 10 to go for the Wildcats. S screen. Oh my goodness. We got oh, hold good it. gracious, how did we not get a hold call there? <laughs> we got held, Avery got held. We got to play the screen. That's what they're doing. First and ten here from the thirty-two. I'm gonna hand it off on the jet sweep to number three, Peyton Roberts. Be pushed out of bounds by Short gain the there. Two. Yeah, and, and you know on that last play on that last screen, Kyle, it, it was a really good play. I mean, 11 went in like he was running a slant, so Zwick went, went with him. Um, the inside receiver blocked down. I mean, there was just nobody over there. But you're right. I mean, Avery, <laughs> it, it, his back was to us. He was trying to run away, and his back was shut, was was uh, facing this way. I'm, 
Anyway. So second and eight here for the Hornets. Want to remind everybody, this is a Hornet broadcast. So there's a play call, out route, tipped. Good play by Zwick. Good tackle based on the based on the spot there. We're going to see if it's a first down. It's just a stop route. So it's going to be third and short here. we got to get set. We got to watch the football here. Last time we lined up, in, uh, we saw him line up in the formation. Kyle, they ran a quarterback sneak. Look for him to try to draw us off right here. They don't. They go. He's gonna. Oh, he didn't he's get gonna it. Be short. He's gonna be short. We'll see what they do here. Still about a yard short. We'll see what they do. I'd be surprised if they punted here, Kyle. They punt into the wind. I think you got to punt, though. The way our offense is struggling a little bit, make us go 70 yards or so instead of 40. It looks like they're going to go for it. It's going to be a sneak if they don't draw us off. Yeah, he went, and he's short. Oh, no, he, he did not get it. get it. No, he didn't he get did it. He did not get you it. You got to say it after they didn't call him down. I don't, I don't think a whistle blew. They're going to give it, it to like him. It wow. Great job there by the quarterback. He got stopped initially. He went around. And with that spot, we'll have another wildcat first down. Yeah, the second effort got him. I guess they didn't call him down. And the second effort got him across. We got four minutes to go here in the third quarter. First and 10 from the 42 for Green County. You got to admire how Green County got better throughout the year. First and 10 to go for the Wildcats from their own 42. Hand off underneath. Good play by Ooh. Zach Jones. That, that Hornet defense is, uh, they've come alive here. That fourth down conversion may have uh, gave us a little spark there. I'll say again, guys, this is an East Central broadcast. This isn't like an ESPN broadcast. So, of course, we're biased. We're from this community, and uh, that's the way it is. We appreciate you watching if you're from Greene County, though. Big hit, big play under, under throw. Oh, incomplete. We do appreciate you checking in with us. Mitchell just took a big County. hit, uh, showed his athleticism, taking the hit for his team. It was a good ball. He threw a good ball. Avery White put a lick on him. So it's going to be third and long here. Good play there. Third and long here. Watch the screen. Going to give underneath. Yeah, great, great job. Play. Great job. Yeah, boy, that defense really uh, – <laughs> I stepped it up they there. They did. They answered the call. This punt's going to be huge here before the end of the quarter to, be able to make them punt it against the win. Yeah, now he's got, he's got to in the fourth and 13. Great job there by the defense. And it ain't going to be oh, much of a punt. There's just so much wind blowing. It's just, these guys punting the ball wow. is having a hard time tonight. I bet you up there about 30 feet that that wind's blowing 40 miles an hour. So we're going to get it right at the 40-yard line. It, you know, speaking of sponsors, it'd be a good time to thank all the guys, the, the local folks in the community that made this, this possible. Uh, we, Kyle and I enjoy doing this every week, and uh, the local folks right here in the community make this broadcast happen along with WGD. So we thank, thank those sponsors for uh, for your support. I know a lot of folks tonight. At one time, we were up to around 700. We're at 800 views right now, so we appreciate you tuning in. And but especially, we ask that you uh, pay pay our sponsors a visit this week. Go Cam! Go Cam! Go Cam! There we go. Go Cam! That's a big run right there. You can feel you can feel the momentum in the stadium starting to swing in the in, in the favor of the Hornets. 
Uh, that you're right, Kyle. That ever since that fourth down, where we felt like that, you know, we we stepped up and answered the call, and and they, and and and, and they got the first down. They did, but I, I think that's sort of like maybe that may have been our wake up call. So here we go from the 45. From the 45 yard line. There's a toss again. We're getting a little. Oh, man. We're doing a better job of moving the line of scrimmage right now. Second down and eight here from the uh, 43 yard line of Greene County. You know, Kyle, we've had a lot of success in the second half. Uh, moving the ball, uh, we talked about it earlier on in the season. Um, we we are our second half team, especially offensively, and we're just getting a lot of penetration right now. And there it is again. Good run there, uh, late here in the second, in the second half or in the third quarter. So a minute 45 to go here in the third quarter. We're on a 38 yard line, and we got to get to the 35. So it's going to be third and three. Big play here. You got to feel like. We may go for it here with the wind at our back if we don't get it. We need our offensive line to come off here. Will Young keeps up the middle, but he will be met at the line of scrimmage by a pack of Wildcats by number 22, Jaheim Cooper. And yeah, Coach Smith had a little bit of decision to make courses fourth down. I mean, you – you punt it, it's a good chance you put him down inside the 10. I think you got to go for it. I, I feel like you will. I don't know how many more chances you're going to get in the fourth quarter. So, fourth and uh, fourth and a long two, fourth and two and a half. We got to come off here and get this one somehow. He's going to get it. Oh, he's going to go Cam. He's going to score. Cam. Cam. He's going to score. That's a touchdown. Go yeah. Big play. Great job. No flags on the field. The maroon clad Hornets make it 9 7. You got to be proud Big of your number points. three right there, Kyle. For those of you that may not be followed all season, he, he missed the first part of the season with a broken leg. And uh, that young man just uh, took the ball to the house for his team. Great run. Get through them uprights. Good job. Ten to seven. A lot of football left to go. We're going to take a break right here. At Cronier, we're the MVP when it comes to your AC. Cronier Air Conditioning has been serving the coast since 1958. At Cronier Air Conditioning, we take pride in servicing our customers and keeping them comfortable all year long. In honor of our 60 years of service, we're offering a $60 service call till the end of the year for all new and existing customers. So give us a call today and let our winning team go to work for you. Cronier Air Conditioning, 228-475-7845. If you are a loved one or thinking about applying for Social Security Disability, there's a few questions you need to ask before you rush off and hire an attorney. One, will your case be handled by an attorney located in South Mississippi where you live? And two, will an attorney or a representative be handling your case? And three, and most importantly, will an attorney meet with you before the day of the hearing? Better yet, just give me a call at the Turner Law Group at 601-394-5008 or visit us online at www.msdisabilitylawyer.com. Touchback from Branson right there. Great run by Cam there on fourth down for the touchdown. Great job. I'm like you, Nick. Proud of Cameron Gray. Started the year off hurt. Got hurt early. Missed most of the middle of the season. Worked his way back. I can tell you I got him in my first block. Government class. Not a better kid at our school. Great kid. Proud for him. Be interesting to see, Kyle. I still feel like they're going to test Wick at some point on a deep ball. Um, I just feel like it's setting up that way. Oh, it's we got to make a tackle. Several missed tackles there. We can't have that. That's a very good, very good run by that young man. Number six. We're getting close here to the fourth quarter. Santez Campbell on the carry there. That 
he's had a, a, a pretty good night. They've thrown a couple of those screen passes to him. Um, he made a few guys miss. Looks like Green County's going to let this one run out. We're going to go to the fourth quarter with a heck of a football game. Your Hornets are leading 10 to 7. We'll be right back with you for the last quarter of the night. Hi, friends. I am Mark Maples. Nancy Joe and I want to thank you for the vote given to us in our campaign on Tuesday. I look forward to the opportunity to serve you as your next Chantry Court judge. Thank you and good luck to both teams tonight. Before you pull out your jacket, remember to pull into A1 Auto Parts and repair in Pascagoula and let us winterize your vehicle. A1 Auto Parts has been serving the folks of Jackson County for years with a great reputation for customer service. Check out their wide variety of detailing products, including blue dressing for tires and acid for wheels. Mention this ad and get 10% off on all cleaning and detailing supplies. A1 Auto Parts and Repair, family owned and operated for over 34 years. 3019 Chico Street in Pascagoula. Call 769-7181 or 762-7103. Hey, we got a long way to go here in Hurley. Second and two to start the fourth quarter. Hand off to Santez Campbell. Boy, he's pretty good. He's really good. Line. Good run by him. I imagine he's coming up on close to 100 yards, which is very rare against our defense. So that'll move the chains. It'll be first and 10 from the 32. Lots of football left here, 1147. That was the first snap of the fourth quarter here. Your Hornets are leading 10 to seven. There he is. Good Wick, job by Wick has uh, done a good job all season, he man. Has. That guy, pound for pound, he made he 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 is a leader on that defensive unit. That's about as good as you can play that for a gain of four there. Yeah, I mean that guy's got it. He he's got a whole head of height on him over there. It's gonna be second and six there from the 36 yard line. Got trips to the bottom of the set. One back in the backfield. There's the fake. It's going to be a screen. Screen, we got him. Oh, we picked it up. Intercepted. We picked Zach it up. Very good play. Big what a play. Great play. You know, Mitchell made a really good play to avoid that. I thought we were going to get him for a sack. He rolled out and, and just trying to make a, a backyard football play, more or less. And Zach Jones played backyard football for Kyle. What that a great was, play. Man, good heads up play right there. You know, Zach and and, and um, Avery both are well over six foot, six four, six five, I think. Um, I thought about that earlier in the week as I thought about this this game. Uh, I know they they knew they were gonna try to throw and wondered how much what the what the chances were of that of that happening. And it uh, looks like it's real good. I think that's Zach's third interception on the season. He may have more interceptions than our defensive backs. Great play. Great play, so good field position here. We got to take advantage here from the 39 yard line. 39 of Green County. We got a little something going offensively. Yeah, we were running right out. We got out. a little something going. I, want, I just want to say something. Number 55, we've talked about him most of the night. Uh, Blake Dodger, he's a big old fella, and he is an athlete it, it, from the word go. But we just, we had three Hornets just move him right out of the way. And we ran, we ran right at him. I, at it, Coach Huff has got these, got these guys uh, playing on another level tonight. Uh, couldn't be prouder of their effort right there. Ten and a half minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Hornets got the ball in the 28. Oh, we moved. I like it, though. We'll take it. If you're going to go wide open, Donovan, go wide open. If you're going to be outside, that's fine. Flag's part of the snap. If you're going to jump, Kyle, get your money's worth. He got his money's <laughs> worth, that's for sure. So that's going to move it back first and 15 from the 33-yard line. 33-yard line of Green County. Clock's running 10-20 to go here in the football game. I think Green County's getting a little tired up front. We're starting to move them a little better than we have been. There's the lead. That's a good run. Pierce man. Tullis just laid a block out of this world. They had a linebacker come in blitz. I think it was number 22, and he just he just made a hole. So under 10 minutes to go here. 
we got to get down to the 18, so second and 12. This is a big possession here with the turnover. We got to find a way to stick it in. We need a touchdown to make it a two possession game. There it is. Oh, good run, Cam. Ryan Evans, Ryan Evans just, just made a great block to seal that in to make that run possible. So it's going to be third and six here. You know it's going to come down to our defense. Third and six. We won't be able to kick a field goal. It'll be really hard against that win. So we need a big play here to at least get it manageable for fourth down. Oh, hey, hey, I don't know how he close. didn't come across. He was close up top. We have a side judge over there. I'm certain he would have caught it, though. Yeah. <laughs> There's a sneak. From Will. Number five, Will Young keeps up the middle. Marking for a short game. Yeah, we, I, I don't see us trying to kick it from here as hard as that wind blowing. 8.43 to go here. It's going to be fourth and three from the 21-yard line. <clears throat> We've been running the power well. Let's see if we go back to it. Huge play. Play of the game here. 8.27 to go. We're coming up to the line of scrimmage, fourth down. We're coming right, we're coming right over Mr. Donovan Seals right here. Kyle's what we're about to do. We're going to call we're gonna time, call time out. out and think about it. 8-13 eight, eight, to go here. We're going to take a break. Sassy's Restaurant and Catering, located in Hurley. At Sassy's, you'll find a wide variety of some of the best home cooking to choose from. Host your next party or let us bring it to you. Sassy's offers catering for any special event. Check out our Facebook page for more information. Sassy's Restaurant and Catering in Hurley. Call 588-0800. Can't make it to the game? Don't worry. Come watch it while you eat. It's Sassy's. Go Hornets! From all the crew at Sassy's Restaurant and Catering. We're back with you here. Huge fourth down play for the Hornets. We'll see what we do. Uh, Cameron Gray has had a couple really nice runs. We got to really come off the ball here and give him a chance to get to the uh, 18 up there. So from the 21 yard line, it's going to be fourth and three, 8 13 to go here in the game. We've had a lot of success running over that right tackle. Big play here. There it comes. No, he's down the ground. He didn't get it, though. He was down anyway. Way. He, he, he had a chance to get it, and there was penetration. Yeah, I couldn't tell from the back. It came from the back side, and uh, it made a good play. Just made a good play. Couldn't tell either. Looked like number 42. Air Force commit. Now here, Kyle, we just don't want to give up a big play, which that's that's what they're going for here. They they they've been nickel and diamonds on on that little underneath draw, but uh, they're gonna they're gonna take a shot eventually, and they got the wind of their back here. Make the tackle, make the tackle. Good job. About a five yard gain there. We've leaned on our defense all year, and we're going to do it again. Got a penalty flag. From theirs, you got to think it's holding. It's not roughing the pass or anything. Oh, ineligible. Ineligible man downfield. We're going to accept that one. That's a big penalty there. So it's gonna move it back to the 15 yard line. And the ineligible receiver downfield penalty backs up the line. It's gonna be first and 15. We gotta be able to defend that screen from the back and from the receiver. Trips to the top. There's a screen, there's a screen. Incomplete, he threw it down. good job. We had about three guys there. We got to be careful that they don't set up that screen and they're, then they're and baiting they us up. And Kyle, they're baiting us up. So here we go. We got almost 900 of you watching. We appreciate you watching. We got a good one here in Hurley tonight. Very good one. Second and 15 here. 
from Zwick, the 15-yard line. Zwick's on an island by himself out there. There it is. There's We've been waiting ball. on it. Great oh, coverage. Good coverage. Great good coverage. coverage. So, do I see a flag? I don't think so. No flag. Going to bring up a huge third down here. 7.44 to go here in the fourth quarter. Big third down. Interesting to see what Green County is going to go to here. We've defended the screen better in the second half, so we'll see. They had some success on the little slant route uh, to 11. Yeah. So maybe a wheel. We got doubles. We got some confusion at, at, at their safety position, hopefully. Oh, he got hit. Oh. No Huge flags, Kyle. Stop. Hey, we do have a flag on the play at the 35-yard line. We got to got to feel like that's probably going to be a holding call or, or pass interference. Man, that far down the field from where the ball was actually thrown. Oh, that's it's gonna, on me. Uh, 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 um, it may be illegal. Rub. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, pass, I, offensive pass interference. Wow. Because they had a little bump there, I think, to try to create some separation for 11 or whoever the receiver was over there. I think it may oh. have been on 11. Fourth down from the 15-yard line. That's going to bring the punt on. 7.38 to go. Zwick. Is back uh, our our receiver, our punt returner. Yeah, Excuse me, he's got to be up. careful. That ball is going to carry. He uh, needs to back on up about ten more yards, in my opinion. Yeah, he's he's shallow. I mean, he's no, he's good for normal depth, but with that wind blowing, it's going to carry. Well, the wind fair died catch, right when he kicked. Fair catch it. Fair catch it. Right when he kicked it, Kyle, the wind died. Good job. <laughs> sure did. Good job by Zwick right there. So That's, we're going to have it on the forty-eight. We got to we got to put it in the end zone right here. Yeah, I mean, just about a field goal isn't an option. Um, you're gonna, you, you definitely want to put it in here. The way our defense has played, defense has played to this point in the game, you feel like if you put it in here, that's that's going to be uh, almost insurmountable for for Green County to to come back. We found something on the right side of their defense we like. I look for us to keep continue. When, when Coach Smith finds a weak spot, he, he continues to pound on it. Good run, Cam. That's three hard yards right there. The Hornet faithful here want to see that clock run, clock run. Sitting at 7-13 and ticking away. Three tough yards. Kyle, even if you can burn this thing down to under three minutes uh, and, and you have to end up giving it back to them deep in our own territory, you still, Whew. you know, it's not it's not ideal, but uh, they still have to go against our defense the whole length of the field. But I'd sure like to see us put it in here. He's going to be real close coming up on the third down right here. Yeah, gain of about three there for Dylan. That's going to bring up a big third and four here. We got two downs to get it, so we got to get it here. Third down and four from the 43-yard line, from the Green County 43-yard line. We're coming right back behind it, Mr. Donovan again, I believe. Nope, we got it other way. Oh, Man, he was my getting there. Dodgers just, just laid a lick on Grinsteiner. Big play right here coming up. Coming up on six minutes to go. So the foot, the nose of the football is on the 40. We got to get to the 39. It's going to be fourth and one. Huge play right here. We can uh, we can run the clock down if we find a way to get a first down right here. I say let's get on Matthew Green's backside and ride him all the way across. Yes, oh my sir. Goodness, go, goodness. Go, go. Oh, what a yeah. shot! What a yeah. shot! Oh my gosh! What, what a great shot by Steiner. Incredible! Incredible! Wow. This place is going nuts, what guys. What a super cut. You know, Dylan has just got after it every game. 
not always had great luck. Broke his hand early in the year. What a great run right there. Great job by the offensive line opening up that line, opening up that hole. And he hit it, and then he made a great cut at the end there. Man, what and a Nobody move. called him. So, that's going to make it 17-7. to seven, And that's going to make it really hard for Greene County. Two scores. We're going to go to a break here. Foster's Heating and Air, our comfort consultants, have extensive training in HVAC systems. For us, success means finding the best solution for your project and budget. Our dedicated team at Foster's has more than 90 years of combined experience. We are here to serve you. We will listen with understanding and compassion, and we guarantee that you'll be taken care of. We count on our teams every day, and so can you. This is Foster's, home of the old reliable. We are Foster's. Go Hornet. Hornet football on WGUD is made possible by All Access Towing and Recovery. At All Access Towing and Recovery, we do towing and roadside of all kinds. All Access Towing and Recovery, open 24-7 for your convenience. From all of us at All Access Towing, go, go Hornets! All Access Towing and Recovery, with two locations to serve you. Hey, we're back with you there. Tough kick there, uh, but a good roll for the Hornets. Uh, Green County's going to start from about the 31. They got to score quick and hope for an onside kick. 5.28 to go here. Our defense has played really, really well here in the second half. They got a chance to put it away right here, Nick. Yeah. You can uh you can you can feel the the excitement over here on this Hornet sideline. They smell they feel they they can uh, sense blood in the water, Kyle. Got to be careful here not to give up a big play. So they got quads to the top. We're bringing pressure. And nobody. Oh, low snap. Good job. Oh my goodness. We we're bringing pressure there. He saw it in his face. He had to get rid of it quick. So second and 10 from the 30. There's a snap. He's rolling out. Make a tackle. Make a tackle. Good job. I don't I don't think it can be overstated the game that Hunter's Wicks had tonight. He's played great. It's really hard to be able to tell how big, how much an advantage in terms of size. And Zwick is, man, he has been everywhere 11 has gone. He, he's been in his hip pocket. That boy goes to the bathroom and see, and he's going to be looking for Hunter. Big play here, third. It's about third and six here. Big play. Got, gonna go back to the screen. They're in trips. There it is. Uh, uh. Oh, Avery. Good job. I've lost count of the touchdown saving tackles he's made on plays like that this year. He's made a bunch of them. Good job there by Green County to convert. So from the 49 yard line, they're gonna be hurrying. We got a flag, I believe. They declined it. It's uh, one of their coaches over there, unless he's calling a play in. Green County acts as if it's against That's us. That's in the position. Unless we were all sides to begin with, that's hard to believe that's on us. Are you going to pick it up? Are you going to pick it up, wave it off? Defense I know he did. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm going to be quiet there. So, first and 10 from the 49, 445 to go here, clock running, empty first set. To go for the Wildcats from around 49, Mitchell's pass. Incomplete. And 10 in for number 11, Drake Henderson, balls incomplete. You no, know, when you're in zero coverage like we are, we got to make sure we tackle because we have no help from the backside. 4.37 to go here, second and 10 from Green County's own 49-yard line. 17 to seven if you're just joining us. We got quads to the bottom of the set. Coming back at Hunter. Too high. Third down, couple big plays coming up. We're gonna have our chances to put this one away right here. That brings up third and 10. 
4.33 to go here, third and 10. Big third, big third down play here. Look for him, Nick. I know we keep saying it. Look for him to go back to the screen. They've ran it out of every formation possible. Third and 10. Good tackle. Good job by Hunter. It's going to be fourth and short. Number 11, Drake Henderson. Well, we got him. Maybe eight yards. Fourth and three here, huge play. We got to watch the football. We got to be careful we don't give up a run. I, they, I think feel like he's going to earn a timeout. I, he's setting us up for that draw, that underneath handoff. And I feel like that's what he's – I kind of feel like that's coming. He ain't ran it in a minute. He does have two timeouts to burn. But he's leaving the ball high too, right? We've got a timeout here. Fourth and three coming up. Big play. Right at four minutes, 4.04 to go here in the fourth quarter. Defense has played great, Nick. We'll see what happens here. If we get it back here, it's going to be really hard for Green County to get back in it. So the ball is going to be spotted just across the 44-yard line of the Hornets, and they have to get to the 41. Fourth and a short three here. You got trips to the bottom, one back in the backfield. Yeah, I'm like you, Nick. I would not be shocked to see a running play here. There it is. Oh, he kept it. He. I think he, he – right at he the end, he put, I think he got it. it. I think he put the ball right across and got it. Hey, you got to give credit to him. That's a great play He right is an there. athlete, Kyle. Great that, play. That is that. actually, as I'm told, Jacob Mitchell is actually the middle linebacker, number 42, Noah yeah. Mitchell's brother. So, so Noah's a senior. Jacob, I think the quarterback there is a junior at 6'2", 190 pounds. So we'll get, have the good fortune probably of seeing him play some more. Clock's going to start here, 3.56 to go in the game. This has been a good one. First and 10. There's a pass. Oh, oh. My goodness. I can tell you right now, he got if you throw smoked. anywhere around number 20, somebody's going to get hit. <laughs> it might be a pass on your fear, but somebody's going somebody gonna to know he's over there. <laughs> he got smoked, and we almost had an uh, interception. Going back to the quad set here to the bottom of the – field. We got to get set. So that's going to be Good third catch. and two. Yep. Man, 11, he is an athlete. We got to be careful that they don't throw that pass down here to the bottom because they're setting it up. They keep running the quads to the bottom of the formation and throwing to the top to number 11. So trips to the bottom, three receivers to the bottom, third and three. It's going to be a – he caught it. Man, that boy I thought is. we had a hand in there, too. He's a big old target over there, Kyle. It looked like Zach flashed in front of him and got his hand up and almost got a hand on it. He made a great play. This was not over yet. 319 to go from the 20-yard line. The clock's going to start here and run as Green County gets set. They're going to keep going to number 11. Coach Smith, Coach Hudson going to call a timeout. Hey, we're going to go to a break here. Hello, this is Manly Barton. I just want to congratulate the Hornets on a successful season. They've had a great year, and we just want to wish them a lot of luck as they go into the playoffs. Go Hornets! Tonight's playoff game is made possible by Dom Key Market. At Dom Key Market, enjoy wine, gourmet products, gifts and gift baskets, and culinary events. Dom Key Market is located at 720 Schillinger Road in Mobile, Alabama. For more information, call 251-287-1851 or visit them online at domkeymarket.com. Owners Brooke and Scott Golf from Hurley would like to wish the East Central Hornets the best of luck. Go, Go Hornets! Hornets.
Here we go. So Green County's coming back here on the field. Wind's kind of picking up a little bit. That wind is blowing. 312 to go here from the 20-yard line, first and 10. We got that empty set, empty look. Oh, I thought he had it picked. Baldock played he that route perfectly. That well. Oh, it hit him in the hands. Well. He read that well. Just undercut him. Coach King's done a good job with that two receiver route. He's running a little bit of a wheel with the inside guy and the outside guy running a slant. He's done a good job. Little different set here. Tight trips. There's a the tall side. Oh, he's gonna throw it. He's gonna throw it. You know, he had one open. I he know did. he did. Short guy was open. Sure sure. We did a good job of staying back. But you know, he I gotta got tell smoked. you, man, coach. Green County's uh, coach, Coach King, I'm, I'm sure he's the guy calling the plays. He has done a phenomenal job. Uh, these guys are, are – he's got some good athletes, but, I mean, he's putting them in a position to win. Um, they, got them, they got themselves a good football coach at Green County High School. Good play call right there. We got doubles here. Doubles here. Quarterback in the, in the gun. We got There's pressure coming. We didn't get to him. Pick. It's good. We got oh. it. I think we're going to have a hold or something. I'm not really sure what. I don't know if it's us. I'm thinking we may have been holding the receiver. Had to be. You know, it's uh, just a testament to our to our defense and, and theirs. Uh, Green County coming to the game, I think, averaging about 25 points a game. I think we're around the 32 or 33 points a game range. That's going to move it down to the 10. That's going to move it down to the 10, first and goal. Quarterback's rolling. Looking for it. Incomplete there. It's always going to, it looked like we was going to have a jump ball in the corner to 11. Jacob Gibbs with the pressure there. Good job. So 2.53 to go here in the game. Green County threatening here down 17 to 7. Of course, with that incompletion, the clock stops. So that's <laughs> that adds to the intensity. We, we want to. As a, as a lead, leading team here, we want that clock to roll, baby. Fake. Screen, screen, screen. Good job. I'm not real sure who that was, too. Yeah, who was he? There's no receiver in the I'm 45, not real sure who. 45 was. I think he was like an up back. That's what it, he had an eligible receiver on tackle over there. So third down and 10, 249 to go. You gotta believe that we're gonna see it go to 11 here, if not this play on the next one. Yeah, you got. You gotta feel like they're gonna go back to number 11, or try to run the screen to the running back. So you got trips, three receivers to the bottom, one receiver to the top. They're gonna try to go to him. There he is. Good job. Fourth down. Number 11, Drake Henderson. There was not ready on the snap. Looked like he wasn't ready. I so, think he was expecting another play to come in from the sideline because they, they kind of looked like they were talking. And Big play here. Green County may call timeout. They have two left. 2.46 to go here in the fourth quarter. Fourth and goal from the 10-yard line. We got a Going back to 11 for the jump ball. That's his only play. He's got a score. At the back of the end zone, that's not going to be caught. Incomplete. He's at the back of the end zone. Incomplete. He he caught the ball, but he was at the back. Will at the back of the end zone. They the can stop it twice. So defense answered the call again. They can stop it twice. So if we get one first down, this one's over. 
48 to nothing in the first round of 1A playoffs. Oak Grove leads Harrison Central 37 to 14. So what we got to do here is we got to make sure we got two arms around the football. Don't let anything don't don't turn the football over. So first and ten from our own ten. Good play call. Get on the ground, Will. Good job. He got about three yards there. Good play. Out to the They're thirteen. They're gonna stop it, Kyle. They're gonna stop it here. We're gonna go to a break real quick. And the Wildcats. Tonight's game is brought to you by Going Green Foam Insulation. Going Green Foam Insulation is your local hometown business for all your spray foam insulation needs. The friendly folks at Going Green Foam Insulation would like to wish the East Central Hornets the best of luck in the playoffs. Call your former East Central Hornet, Rob Roberts, at 228-218-3404 for a free estimate. Go Hornets from Going Green Foam Insulation. Tanya Hasbrook began her career as a registered nurse and then became an attorney. After graduating from Ole Miss Law School, she began representing the people of Jackson, George, and Greene Counties and has for the past 28 years. 12 of those years has been an assistant district attorney fighting for the safety of our children and communities. Only Tanya Hasbrook has the diverse and extensive experience needed to be your next Chancery Court judge for C2. Tanya Hasbrook, the name to remember. I'm Tanya Hasbrook and I approve this message. Second and seven here. He got a first down. He got a first down. He sure did. That's going to come close to wrapping it up there, Nick. They can stop it one more time. There is no two-minute warning in high school football. First and 10 from the 25 yard line. Clock running right at two minutes. This has been a good one here tonight from Hurley. Green County has played well. So no gain there, second and 10. They can stop it, like we said, one more time. Second and 10 from the 25 yard line. We'll let the play clock run down as far as we can. We're gonna get this one down to maybe a, a minute 11 or so. Man. That ball almost came out. Daldrew is a ball player. He's good. They're going to burn their last one, Kyle. They're going to stop it and then make us punt. Some scores from Region 4A playoffs. South Pike leads Linden Hall 36 to 20. Popperville leads Northeast Lauderdale 40 to 8. West Lauderdale leads Florence 35-14. Knoxville County is down 12 to nothing against Greenwood. Oh. Coming out of the timeout here, minute five. So uh, we'll run this play, and once they start the play clock, coach will either take a delay penalty or call timeout because we have one left, and then we'll punt it. It'll be inside uh, 30 seconds to go third in the football six, game. So Central. third and six third for us. Nine. There's a toss to Cameron. We just got to hold on to the football. The Nothing else matters third right here. So based on when the play clock starts, <clears throat> we'll see when the White Hat starts the play clock. That'll tell you how much time's gonna be left. So he just started it. So gonna be about 20 seconds left when coach either calls timeout or <clears throat> takes a delay. 
What a great game. It has been exciting. Super game. We were down 7-3 to three at the half there, um, and we talked about it there at midfield. Um, they had a fourth down play where they, the quarterback just made a great play, <clears throat> got a first down, bounced off, and it seemed like for some reason that just gave us a little spark, a little momentum. It, it, it was reminiscent to me of a big, of a big heavyweight fight, and, and uh, I guess the, the guy you think would be winning kind of took a shot on the chin, and he was like, wait a minute, <laughs> I'm supposed to get knocked out. And after that, the Hornets never looked back. Yeah, give credit to Greene County. They came with a great game plan. They had a great year. Um, tonight, we just found a way to win. Hopefully, 20 seconds left here. We got a 10 point lead. We're up 17 to seven. Thank you to all our sponsors for uh, taking part in our in Hornet football tonight and all year. Branson Davis back to punt for the Hornets. Just get this one off. Good job. Good punt. Yeah, that was, a, that that. was a perfect punt, no. but that wind just held it straight up. We're going to get it with 10 seconds. Wind's blowing hard here. So Green County's going to get a couple plays here. Tough, gutty win for the Hornets. Tough, gutty win. So we bring in our uh, cloud look. We're rushing three. We got eight drop deep. Don't get a penalty tackling out of bounds. So four seconds left here. This may be the last play. Four seconds left here. We got uh, we got a bunch of folks in the defense. <laughs> we look like we got a defensive kickoff. If they score kickoff here, team out there. they're gonna dodge eight people to score. <clears throat> Look at Bryce. Look at Bryce. Bryce. In the game. Great job by Bryce. Hey, what a huge gutty win for the Hornets. Great job. Great season for Green County. It's certainly nothing to hang their heads about. They came down here ready to play. So they, they gave us their best shot. This they has been the well. this has been the the, the biggest challenge East Central seen. Uh, especially, especially offensively, uh, man, they have a dynamic offense uh, and, and, and a fine head coach and coaching staff. Uh, they they kind of had us on our heels in the first half. It just like I talked at halftime, it felt like at any time they could break a big play, and but our defense, as they have all year, came through and and uh, really performed. Absolutely, seventeen to seven is your final here. Um, I believe West Lauderdale did hang on to defeat Florence. Um, and based on what I looked at, I believe we will be in, back at Hurley next week. So, again, we will let you know through the week about our broadcast. Thank you, all 900 of you, for watching tonight, for uh, watching the game with us. What a great game. 17-7 to here from Hurley as your Hornets move on to the third round. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next week.